we're gonna make this 800 yeah 800 by 250 All right, now this is just a square. It's going to represent the actual image we'll put in um, in a little bit. But so basically, you really want your banner to be in there. It's going to display what you want to sell. So if it's a bar, you're going to sell a picture. You're going to put a picture of your bar there and look how fun it is, or something like that. Um, and and put an action on there. So click here to make a reservation or something like that, and you'll have a picture of your bar and then a little graphic there. Um, to, for the website there, and so that's gonna. This is representing our image right now, that box, and I like to add a little bit of text there. Let's say describe on it. So we're gonna add something below it. Make that 700, and height is 150, and let's make it round in the bottom a little bit rounder 15 is good move it up so we get the oh, hold on bring this to front and then move it up so you don't see the round edges get it centered on there alright that's good and change the color actually we're going to add a shadow so if the picture was here there would be a shadow below it oh, you can just add a picture on top so drop shadow bring it down to the bottom 70 opacity down bring the width out 5 and spread it out a little bit and by the way this is all going to be available the image here is going to be available for download in the description um, and then we're going to change this to a white maybe let's try a gray and a white I don't like that. I'll flip them though. Uh, flip them again. Alright, that's interesting. Maybe add a border to it too. Let's see. We'll try it blue like that. Alright, that's not cool. And it, it's pretty cool. So you can add some text in there, say, um. And then just events. And then just put some text here below it, like that. And then you can, with jQuery, you can fade it out or whatever you need it for, like that. And now let's add some page content. So let's let's try putting a plus here. We'll use a plus for like a um as an image again, I guess. Bring it up all the way. Bring that down. Alright, welcome. I'm gonna have to scale that down obviously. Oops. I like it bigger. Yeah. And we'll make this bigger. Alright, we'll have the welcome off to the right there. And I'm not feeling this right here. I think I'm going to change this to the side, maybe. Yeah, I'll do that. Actually, I'll just get rid of it entirely. Looks fine how it is. And then you can just add the graphic onto there with text if you want. Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm just confused with my life. We're going to make it 700. And then... bring it out to the side make it actually 650 and then make
make this 200 make sure we hide it so bring this to the front bring that on the side make sure it's lined up and center it okay cool and now you can add your text there but we're out so we're going to change the color make it white make it grayish no that's white and again using the gradients here very important and we'll put actually we'll flip it so the gray is on top put a shadow on the bottom as well as we did with the Im or mock image I guess you can call it drop shadow make it smaller and bring it all the way to the bottom spread it out lighter bring it to three actually and fade it okay that's cool so that way it pops and you can add your text there and you can with jQuery obviously you can like slide it that way and slide it back um, so that's that, and now we're going to do the content. So welcome, and then let's just drop some text in here. We'll make it black. And this will actually be Arial. And we'll make it 14. and commands um, text and then lurium whatever the heck it is and it's right there for us formats it and everything so that's where your text would be and we'll make it over there because we want to put a sidebar in as well as well as well and drop it over a little bit to there Bring it down. All right. So let's just look at what we got so far. We got our nav bar up top there, looking pretty sweet. The logo, and the banner with the text on the side, and the main content. So now we're gonna add the sidebar. How are we doing on time? 15 minutes. Dang. I better hurry up. All right. So sidebar. I guess we can just take this, and we'll just put it over there. That looks pretty sweet and now you can just use that for the sidebar and we'll just take this text you know we already have it range bring the front no you control what range send back no we're just gonna, uh a range bring the front thank you well, oh well, that was unexpected So I guess we can put like events here, I guess. I have no idea what I'm doing. Well I do, but unspecified. I have no idea what I'm saying. Alright, so there's your title, there's the plus, still going with the brand. And then you can just duplicate those like that. And we'll save it desktop plus bar. Okay, now the second part is creating pages. Now with the pages here, I can duplicate page. Now I have a copy of that. I can go, so now it's the same thing. I can switch back and forth to the same. We'll name this as contact. And we'll name the first one home. Now if you don't have this, it is the layers panel. You can go to window. Um, where is it? Pages. And then it'll pop up and you go to states, which is for animation and layers, which is the actual items on here. So we go back to pages and now we can start editing this stuff. So say on the contact page you don't want the banner, you can just select them, delete them, take this text and sidebar, move it up, keep it centered. And now you go back to home, it's still there it's that simple and this works in CS5 as well I'm not sure about CS3 though so there you have it um, if I get enough compliments about this or if I get enough incentive I'll actually make this into an HTML version
but if you are on YouTube below link for download for this image a layout and the font that I used if you're on develop PHP it's just below the embedded video so I hope you like this if you do hit the like button and thanks for watching